VTC Group connects large corporates to disruptive technology innovators, enabling multinational companies to attract entrepreneurial IT companies into their supply chains. The CEO, Oriel Stevens, is here with me now to explain exactly what that means. So just very briefly, Oriel, if you can, just explain what your company actually does. Absolutely. So what the problem that we saw is that large corporates and smaller innovators, smaller being sort of aim listed size and below, struggle to connect. And there's great innovation happening in the smaller industries. There's great innovation happening in large corporate. Large corporate have cost base and bureaucracy and everything that we all know big corporates have. Smaller companies have the difficulty of being run by entrepreneurs, all the conflicts of interest, having to attract investment, the fact that they could go bust any minute. All of those are perceived problems. Connecting the two is very, very difficult. And there's a diplomatic entity in the middle, which is called the VTC. Mm -hmm. And what we're trying to do is curate a supply chain for a large corporate who needs to access entrepreneurial IT. You've had huge success with the Lockheed Martin this year, haven't you? Can you tell us a bit more about that? Absolutely. So Lockheed Martin, and now as of last week, the division we work with was acquired fully by Lidos. So it's the Lidos VTC for now. But all the ideas were dreamt up over the last two or three years with Lockheed Martin. What we did for Lockheed Martin is try and help them solve a problem, which was having greater access to UK innovation and ensuring that that was uh, done in an effective way, which also satisfies the needs of their customers. So that's where you are at now, but what's next? What's the next big thing? Well, we see the entrepreneurial IT industry as cross-cutting everything. So while the first cluster was predominantly focused on cyber, clearly a lot of the technology that's in that cluster can be used elsewhere, and there are other technologies not applicable in cyber that are applicable elsewhere. So we're focusing on other core technology-focused areas, such as satellite applications, digital healthcare, agritech, logistics, urban IoT, you get the picture. Anywhere where there is a core demand for a large entity to connect with a smaller business with a view on the technology that can help them innovate, that's where we're headed. Why would somebody want to invest in your company then? What would be the incentive? So we are the only business, as far as we can see, who solely focuses on revenue opportunities for smaller entities. So there are lots of great things happening, especially in the UK, which involve investment, which involve R&D, which involve grants, lots and lots of things. The catapult sponsored by the government, lots of uh, internal incubators and accelerators, corporate venturing, venture capital, all of those have great aspects to them. But none of them focus solely on revenue. What we do is not compete with any of them so we can access, as I said earlier, all existing forms because we don't charge the members of our cluster, the smaller entities, anything and we don't take any equity from them. We don't have to compete with an investing entity or an internal investment mechanism. Okay, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much indeed. That's Oriel Stevens uh, today talking to us um, about her company and the innovative tech industry.